Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying four different brands of popcorns for you. I've just, I've picked up a lot of popcorn lately, and uh, every time I find a new one, I just keep adding to this review. So, we're, we've ended up with four brands that were bought at four different stores. So, first we have the Safe and Fair. Uh, this is the Strawberry Shortcake Drizzled Popcorn. It was... $5.99 at the Fresh Market. Then we have the Drizzlicious Peppermint Drizzled Popcorn. It was $2.99 at Big Lots. I have Rob's Backstage Popcorn Barbecue. It was $3.98 at Walmart. And then I have Utz Popcorn Red Hot Cheddar Cheese. And it was $2.29 at Speedway. So, all kinds of, all kinds of well, and all <laughs> different flavors. So, this is the Safe and Fair Strawberry Shortcake Drizzled Popcorn Kettle Pop Gluten-Free Non-GMO Vegan uh, One ounce 28 grams is about 140 calories and it says clean on the back so it's vegan and Zero trans fat no artificial ingredients preservative free. I'm gonna let you okay. open it uh, just, There's a little story about these while he's opening these We were at the fresh market Oh, yeah, I remember. And these, normally the Safe and Fair uh, popcorn, they'll put, like, Fresh Market has these barrels. If you've ever been in a Fresh Market, you know what I mean. They have these barrels up front with things that they're trying to, that are seasonal or things they're trying to push. Right. I, there's shelves behind the barrels. And on the top of a shelf was that bag, that one bag where it wasn't supposed to be. There wasn't, they don't put anything on the top of these shelves, okay? They're no, always, it was really, really high up. And I recognized the bag. I recognized that safe and fair bag and I thought that was a special um, Somebody flavor. put it up there to hide it. Somebody put it up there to hide it. And they- uh, They had me snatched. I did. I did. I told Kevin, I said, will you get that bag down for me? And Kevin got it down. I said, nope, we haven't tried that. And I think it was the woman that checked us out. Might have been. Because she said. Those go fast. For well, those sold out really fast. She said they sold out really, really fast. And that must be the last one. Uh-huh. And <laughs> I got it. My thing is, if she wanted it, she should have purchased it and put it in her locker or her bag or mm -hmm. something back in the break room. Yeah. Because if I see it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Um, I like it. It's very good. It's not like, I mean, when you get a piece of the drizzle that has the strawberry on it, you definitely get the strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. But if it's just, if you don't, then it's just popcorn. But it's still good popcorn. It's it's, it's a nice flavor. You really, it, 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 no, it was near my foot, not yours. Um, it really does taste like, uh, taste like strawberry. Kevin's yeah. going to crush that piece no, of popcorn. No, I moved it. <laughs> um, it really does taste like strawberry shortcake, and I do like the drizzle of it because mm -hmm. it's a different texture. Yeah. yeah, it's almost cooling to your tongue. It's yes. Just, some of the drizzle is weird. It's like, I don't know why that would be cooling to your tongue, but it does. It it's does good. have a lot of holes, though. It does. It'll get a stuck lot. in your teeth. Yes, a lot of holes. I would totally buy that popcorn, though. Yeah, it's good. Absolutely. This, Drizzlelicious, we've reviewed a lot from Drizzlelicious in the past. You can... Type in Tammy Dunn Drizzlelicious as long as you can spell it correctly and it'll come up. This is the Peppermint Drizzled Popcorn Light and Fluffy White Drizzled Kettle Corn with Crushed Candy Cane. It is 120 calories per cup, it says. Um, let's see. That's a tear here. And this was at Big Lots. Uh, what they do is like Big Lots has their regular food section, but then it smells so good. But then they also have um, a seasonal section, usually with like Halloween stuff and then Christmas stuff and then Valentine's and Easter stuff. So I never saw this in Big Lots at Christmas because mm -hmm. we were in there several times. And then here it is after Christmas and I was in there looking at the Valentine's stuff and it was on, uh, I, well, it wasn't on clearance because it was, it was $2.99. But it was in that aisle. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I got it. If you get a piece that's covered, it's really good candy cane butter. And most of it's pretty well covered. You only got one piece that wasn't like covered. Oh, something. wow. That's nice. I like that. I could eat that whole bag. The, the flavor is very, very good. It's coated very well. It does have a lot of holes, just like the first one did. So mm. you'll get it all in your teeth. But, mm. um, 
It's very good. It's a very, it's a nice soft, crunchy popcorn. Not hard or anything like that. It's nice. I'm going to differ from you a little bit. I didn't get any hauls. Oh, I get them. They're all on my teeth. Uh, this you has see them too. They're all this has four. Oh, I believe you. I just got lucky. Yeah. This has 4.4 servings and it's 120 calories for per serving. So. Yeah, you're gonna eat half that bag at least. I, I, there's, it doesn't seem like there's hardly really anything in here. I could eat the whole bag. I'm telling you, the whole bag, um, and not think anything of it. You wouldn't even feel full. Um, but I think it's delicious. It's very, very good. If you, it would be hard to choose which flavor I would I'd have because it's very, very. They're uh, different. They're different and they're different brands, but I tell you what, the Drizzlelicious is just as well coated mm -hmm. as the Safe and Fair. Yeah. 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 So there's. It's not as noticeable because it's white and, ca and candy. But right, it's, it's but they really did coated. just as good a job as yeah. Safe and Fair did with theirs. So either brand you get, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Now this was bought at Walmart. This is uh, we had already reviewed. The Rob's Backstage Popcorn in the original, I think it's like Kettle salty popcorn. or yeah. whatever, uh, sweet and salty maybe. And then this is the barbecue. Um, Kelly's Classic Barbecue. Plant-based, gluten-free, non-GMO, 50 calories per cup. Um, oh, Kelly Clarkson. Oh, okay. I was beyond thrilled to team up with Kelly Clarkson to create Kelly's Classic Barbecue, an exciting new addition to the Rob's Backstage Popcorn lineup. This flavor pulls from Kelly's Southern Roots to create a sweet and smoky barbecue flavored popcorn unlike anything you've ever had before. Rob. And I guess that's the Rob, Rob's Backstage Popcorn. Whoever Rob is. But now I know this is a Jonas Brothers product. At least the first one was. This is two. Okay. Yeah, this is two. It was uh, because I took a picture for Instagram and their pictures on the, the display. Um, four servings per container, three cups, 28 grams is 150 calories. When they have celebrities on things like that though, I don't pay attention. You know, we're just trying the food. We can't keep up with, we can't keep up with family members and friends, and so I don't know who Rob is, but I don't think it matters. Anyway, it's just, does it taste good? That's a nice barbecue butter. It, it's okay. It's okay, it's kind of smoky. The main flavor is smoke. Yeah. I'd rather have barbecue potato chips than this, but... That has a lot of holes. It's very holy. Very holy popcorn. I like it. I like the smoky flavor. However, you are going to keep going in that bag again and again and again because you want more. Yeah. They could have put... I would have liked it to be um, seasoned more heavily. Yeah, then um, just smoke. Yeah, I, I, cause I keep wanting to go back in the bag and get more and more and you're not gonna, hoping it'll build up or something. You're not, you're yeah, just, just getting, it's sweet though. It's a sweet, smoky barbecue. It's not, to me, there's no spice to it. So like if you mm -hmm. can't have hot food, you would be okay with this cause it's just sweet and smoky. Um, but it, it, And you just get a little, just a little of the sweetness. Most of, 90% of it's just It's smoke. smoke. So I personally wish it was heavier. Yeah, and I agree, I'd rather have a barbecue potato chip. Yeah, there's better, there's much better chips. It might even be better barbecue popcorn. It's just, that's just, eh. It's and just, out of the ones we've had, and it could be because those are coated, but this, the holes really, really are heavy in this. Yeah, all like I've got them all in the, yeah. Okay, now. The Utz brand, this is the uh, Red Hot Cheddar Cheese Popcorn. Nine whole grains per serving, gluten-free. Uh, there's two and a half servings in the bag, so you, if you have one serving, it's 170 calories. If you buy this at the gas station, you know, we bought it at a gas station, you eat the whole bag, you're gonna be eating 420 calories. They had this at Speedway and something else that we had already reviewed. I think they were cheese, cheese balls. Cheese balls. Yeah. yeah, we had already reviewed And they that. were the hot ones. Yeah. Yes. Hot cheese balls. So if you're looking for uh, a review on those, you just type in Tammy Dunn Utz and you'll probably get a, a whole lot that we've reviewed. This is a different style of popcorn. This is the kind that's the puffy, like it's almost little, little brains. 
Definitely get heat. Yeah. Wow, that is very, very lit me up. You know what? It tasted like a nice cheese right at first, but then now it's just like it's burn just, your tongue off. Yes. <laughs> That is, um, it's a painful. It's not pleasurable to me. I don't, I know people love hot food and I've, I've known people that love super hot food. It is just not my thing. It's to um, sit there and eat painful food. <laughs> I just don't get it. That is, um, just as hot as flaming hot. In a different way. It is, uh, it's all down the sides of my tongue. Mm -hmm. Not like, the roof of my mouth even. Uh, yeah, it's it's painful. It's very painful. I do think when you like I agree with you when you first put it in your mouth You do taste cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. So it does have that cheese flavor But it takes a, a split second for that heat to kick in and once that kicks in That's You've all lost you all interest in the cheese because you're like, oh my gosh, that is hot no, um, I agree. Yeah, you're not gonna be buying that though. I wouldn't think I mean it, it says red hot they mean it yeah, it, I, it's not something I would enjoy. If I really like hot, hot, hot food, then yeah, I'd probably go for it. But um, I don't like that kind of food. So mm -hmm. it has a good well, flavor if you get over the heat. It, the cheese flavor is really nice for the second that I got it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I would not buy these just because we're trying them for you all basically to tell you how hot they are. Yeah, they are very good and crunchy though, very fresh. Um, I yes. did get a ton of hauls in it, but of course I didn't eat a lot of it either. Um, um, yeah, I do think it's good quality. I just wouldn't buy, I'm not going to be buying Flaming Hot, hot so yeah. I'm not going to buy that. Uh, the Rob's, I would not buy that again because it's just not my kind of. The other one, the salty one, was good, but mm -hmm. this is just, yeah, it's just not I would, much there. It's just, I mean, I like the smoky flavor and the sweet flavor. I just want more. It needs to be a lot more for me. Yeah. It, heavier on that, the seasonings before I'm going to get that again. And either one of these would be good. Yes, I like both of them. They're both yeah. distinctly different. You can't really say uh, that one's better than the other because. It, it's about the same quality of popcorn. It's yep. the same quality of drizzle and everything. It's just completely different flavors. So it's, are you in the mood for peppermint or candy cane? Or are you in the mood for strawberry shortcake? They're both good. Yeah, I think so too. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.